I'm Api Slijs and this is PNN. As you can see, the yellow top drive behind me is stationary. And we are moving. So where is PNN? Today on Captain's Log. Uh, this is the captain of the Geordie's Resolution. We are on sea date 40 and we're uh, transiting up to uh, San Diego. We've had a very successful uh, scientific operation and I know that the, uh, the co-chiefs and the staff scientists and the scientists are very happy. I hear, that, I hear that a lot and I see it on their faces when I see them in the hallways and down in the mess room. All right, once, uh, once we uh, finish in San Diego, the vessel has to go back to a, a small site off of uh, Vancouver Island and then into uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada where uh, myself and uh, all the crew will be uh, disembarking the ship. I'm on my way up to my dad, who I don't get to see very much, and all kinds of my family at, at, a, at a family gathering. And uh, after that's over, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna head her back to uh, Nova Scotia, uh, the east coast of Canada, and that's where I'm from, and that's where my family is, so. It's been a wonderful trip out here. Uh, I've really enjoyed uh, being part of the, uh, of the PNN and uh, doing the uh, captain's log, and uh, maybe we'll see you again sometime on uh, captain's log. So, back to the family. But not before we give you an update of what happened during this drilling expedition. You guys have quite the knack. You always seem to know when it's time. You look up and see we're doing 11 knots, and that, that's when you want a drilling update, right? You, you Indeed. Have, you're intuitive that way. Um, yeah, we finished our second site, uh, quite successful, just as the first one was. Uh, got 96.7% recovery for the, for the site, for the four holes that we drilled. Uh, we set a new APC record for uh, depth of APC coring to 414.4 meters below seafloor. Very, very deep. Uh, that broke a record that's been standing since 1992 that was 398.3 meters, um, set a long time ago in ODP history. What? I'm happy. <laughs> um, we recovered over 1.6 miles of core this leg, and overall for the expedition, uh, almost 97% recovery for the entire expedition, so that's quite remarkable. We considered it a very successful expedition. A very successful expedition indeed. Thank you, Mike, for this fascinating yeah, drilling update. Yeah. <laughs> so let's ask our co-chiefs what happened in terms of science during this drilling expedition. Isabella, what happened in terms of science during this drilling expedition? Well, we got two fantastic s sequence of sediments. We recovered uh, two and a half kilometers of uh, uh, sediments made up of all the major microfossil group that will be very useful for the studies that we can do on this material. So what kind of studies will we be executing on this material, Mitch? Well, right now what we have is just mud. So what we have to do is turn that into information. And so there's a whole variety of geochemical studies, uh, microfossil studies, so we understand what the communities are, what they were doing, how they're affecting the carbon cycle, how the temperatures change. There's a, we have just, hundreds of studies we can be doing. So indeed, we will be very busy. Thank you, our dear coaches, for this wonderful expedition. Today on Who's That Guy? えっと、今やってるのはですね、堆積物の、え、顕微鏡観察、スメアスライトの観察をやって、えっと、堆積物がですね、ま、どういう岩層かっていうのを、ま、決めてる。ま、そういう作業です。I'm Takashi Ito from Ibaragi University, Japan. I'm on board as one of the seven core describers. Here on the Joyce Resolution, I spend the most of the time in front of the microscope to observe the huge amount of the smear slides. So I don't know exactly where is the gym and where is the barbecue space and where is the movie, but it's okay, it's my duty here. I really like this kind of job. We can go anywhere in the world, north to south and east to west as a part of the job. So nearly like uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very glad to appear the world famous PNN because most of the, my appearance in PNN was as background. So now I'm very excited. I have some experience to make and appear the scientific TV program in national, uh, national broadcast in Japan. 
that means it's in Japanese language. So I could relax in front of the camera like this. あ。早速発見しました。あの、我々がですね、今日会いたかった日なんですけども、もう調査を始めてるようなので、じゃちょっと行きましょう。this is PNN. So PNN is a like a Hollywood movie for me. So I'm very excited. Well, this is a rather emotional moment for me personally. Finishing up the last PNN. I can't believe it's already. Happy? Happy? Ooh. Ah, the weather. Catherine, tell us all about it. Thank you, Happy. I'm Catherine Beltran, your paleo weather girl, with the weather report for June the 21st, 1896. As you can see, we've had some strong cooling over the past 33 million years, but this trend is going to end. Two months ago, a Swedish chemist, Vante Arrhenius, published a scientific paper saying that higher CO2 concentrations would lead to higher temperature. So, let's burn some more coal and oil and then we can have a very good warming. No more white fluffy stuff and some more crocodiles taking nap in the Arctic palm tree. This was your last PNN weather report. Thanks for your attention. Back to you, Appy. Arctic palm trees, huh? How about that? Happy? Just want to let you know, if you look out on the starboard side, the Coronado Islands are now showing up. We're uh, with the inside of San Diego. We'll be in shortly. Oh! We're there! We're leaving! Good! Bye!